Next guest is the host of Love About Town, available at Apple Podcasts, making her television debut. Please welcome the very funny Kenise Mobley. Hello, hello, hi, hi. I see a couple of men here, a couple. I do need to warn all of the men, okay? The second all this is over, I'm making out with everyone, okay? <laughs> everyone. I saw a couple kissing on the street, and my first thought was, let me get in on that. <laughs> they did not like that, okay? They don't like it when you say that to them. They're against it. I am single right now, okay, at this moment, but... According to rom-com logic, I did go up to my roof and I shouted, I don't need a man and I never want to get married. So he should be coming at any moment. Okay. Do you guys like hear a helicopter? I think he's on his way. I just, I feel confident about it. Look, truly, I don't know if I ever want to get married, but I do know that I want my death to ruin a man's life <laughs> to the point where he has to do paperwork. That's important to me. It is. It's very important to me. I do see people I date from time to time. I told my mom about one of the guys that I'm seeing, and she was like, oh, that's nice, Kenise, but um, quick question. Is he or... <laughs> Some of you look a little confused. Uh, yes. Uh, this is the white side of my hand. This is the black side of my hand. Yes, yes, yes. Which I think it's funny that to my mom, there are only two races of people. What I actually said was, <laughs> why, yes, mom. This time I got one with hands and everything. So, no, me and that guy are pretty serious. We had the family conversation where I was talking about starting one and he was letting me know that he already had a wife and child. So, fun times, fun times. Completely unrelated question. Where do you guys stand on dogs with people names? Some shrugging, some side to side. I don't know what that means. Uh, okay, it's a mix. It's a mix. All right. I'm for it. Okay, I am for it. I am for it because I think it makes it clear who is okay with slavery. <laughs> No, because if you're willing to take a living being, you know, and name it Stephanie and put it in your basement and tell it when it can eat and who it can love, I just don't think that's a far stretch to owning people, okay? I think about slavery a lot because as I'm walking around minding my own business, I am constantly told that I look like different civil rights activists. <laughs> And it needs to stop. That's rude that people would say that to me. And I will take a smattering of laughter because what happens far too often is a room full of people who just start shouting out suggestions. <laughs> just Sojourner Truth, Ida B. Wells, Bessie Coleman. The one that I get the most, the one that I've gotten five times this year is that I look like Harriet Tubman. I will take, oh, thank you. Um, <laughs> I will take your, oh, no, because what's happened far too often Recently, it was terrible. A man just was like, yes! <laughs> oh, like he had been sitting there my whole set like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, no. Why do I think of emancipation every time I look at that? <laughs> and I explained it for him and he felt seen and I felt deeply hurt. It's, it's frustrating for a lot of reasons. One, because when people are thinking of Harriet Tubman, they're thinking of an illustration an illustration of an 80-year-old woman. And it's like, I know I look tired, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. But is this the type of exhaustion that could only come from picking cotton in a field? Is that, is that what my face is getting? And people are like, come on, Kenise, no, it's the glasses, it's the glasses. And it's like, oh, oh okay. It's, it's just that Harriet Tubman didn't wear glasses? <laughs> What would she need them for? <laughs> All that reading she couldn't do? <laughs> Kenise Mobley, for more info, go to KeniseMobley.com.